As part of this minimalist experiment I am doing, I am getting rid of a bunch of things in my life. Minimalism is about intentionality, on the things that we do and the things that we don't do, but also on the things that we buy and the things that we don't buy in order to live a happier life. So today I wanted to share with you seven things that I no longer buy as a minimalist. Souvenirs. Coming from a country like Uruguay, where every time you would travel it would cost you above $500 just for a flight, it was quite common that everyone would bring some souvenirs when they would go away. When I first moved to the Netherlands, I had the intention to travel as much and as frequent as I could. As part of these trips, I would always buy a little reminder of the places I've been in order to send back home and some for my own house. Postcards, magnets and t-shirts are just a waste of your money. And most of them are not even from the country you're visiting, but somewhere around Asia. While I do believe in having memories and collections of the places we've been to, I'd rather have them in a different form, such as like a picture, a video, or even in my mind as a memory. Designers clothes. As you can tell from my videos, and if you haven't done so yet, I'm not someone that likes wearing or that indulges in buying a lot of clothes. I mainly wear the same t-shirts, the same jeans, the same pants, and even the same shoes. I wear pretty much the same every day, except when they start smelling or something drops on them. This doesn't go for sports t-shirts, by the way. If there's something I don't understand, and probably will never do, and it's designer's clothes. You're actually just paying for an overly priced t-shirt piece of clothes that you're just paying for the brand and not necessarily the worth it. This is probably not the case for designer's bags, designer's shoes or even watches which with time appreciate in value. But for example a t-shirt which is, I don't know, $200, I find that to be overly expensive and these t-shirts which I wear all the time are just like 20 bucks. For. As from what it concerns to me, I don't see the purpose in spending on something that I'll be getting rid or even get tired or wore off in one year from now. Unnecessary shoes. When it comes to shoes, I don't see the purpose in owning more than the necessary. I do of course have my flip-flops, two pair of shoes which I think match with everything, and of course sports shoes. I wear them as much as I can, which is usually one year, except for the sports shoes, which last me a little bit longer. And when it's time to get rid of them, I just go buy a new pair and done deal. Video games. <laughs> I used to play a lot of video games. I started with the Game Boy Advance, playing Pokemon, and moved on to my PlayStation 2, playing Harry Potter and FIFA, one of the first FIFAs, I think FIFA 6, that was the best and then continue on to PlayStation 4 when I moved here to the Netherlands. During the pandemic, I used to play every day, two or three hours, maybe even sometimes four or five. And now, looking back at it, I wish I didn't. While the PlayStation got me through my period of the pandemic, I sometimes look back and wish I didn't. I wish I would have started this channel sooner, or I wish I would have spent the time reading or learning or studying. But I don't regret it and it was fun. While playing video games may be a sort of relaxation for some, for me it was actually a cause of high anxiety, especially playing Call of Duty with my friends. My heart would be beating 100 ppms an hour every single day. I think and probably a few of you might understand that. So last year I actually decided to sell my PlayStation 4, all the games and everything that I had and decided to spend my time wisely doing something else, something like this YouTube channel, reading, more sports, spending time with friends. Credit cards. A lot of my audience comes from America, and there is something I cannot wrap my head around in that country, and that is the use of credit cards. I cannot understand how people get a credit card, get so much in debt, and then they get another credit card to pay off the first credit card and that way just increment the debt even more. Back in Uruguay, back home, you're able to pay for things in installments 
say 1, 3, and sometimes even 12. When I moved to the Netherlands 7 years ago, it was difficult for me to understand that credit cards here don't really work, and when you would pay something with your credit card, you were just delaying the payment for one month and you couldn't pay in installments. That actually shifted my mind and made me understand a little bit more why credit cards are a bad thing and you should just buy to buy with credit cards. Because instead of paying now, you're just paying in the future, delaying the payment and sometimes even paying more for what you could own now. You shouldn't be buying things that you're actually not able to afford today. And while I do have one credit card, I got rid of my American Express, which was actually just way too expensive and used it mainly for subscriptions like Netflix or Spotify and for my travel insurance or insurance when purchasing big items like this camera. Bottled water. Luckily, I live in a country where you can just open the sink and drink from the tub. So I got used to just carrying a bottle everywhere and refilling it when I want some water. I used to buy bottled water a lot and leave bottles half drunk lying on the floor. This has actually saved me quite a few bucks and I probably helped with the environment with quite a few liters of water. If for some reason I forget my bottle of water or I just don't have one with me, I just put my head down the sink and drink directly from it. Cable TV. I used to spend a lot of time sitting behind the TV. I think that was one of the main reasons why I'm actually wearing glasses. I would sit to this distance, quite close. If I was not watching TV, like Pokemon, I was playing video games, a lot of it. When I moved to the Netherlands, I didn't have a TV and I didn't have the, even the time to spend on watching things. And if I had the time, I would probably watch a series or two on my computer from Netflix, like How I Met Your Mother, The Office, or even Modern Family, for example. When we moved together with my girlfriend, we decided to get a projector instead of a TV. That actually helped us in the way that we no longer sit watching the TV during the day, but we actually enjoy the day outside, go for walks or do other sort of activities that are not sitting behind the screen. Well, we use our computers quite a lot, but that's a different topic, I guess. On the negative side, owning a projector doesn't allow us to watch TV during the day. So this has helped us, especially during summer, to reduce our screen time, watch less TV and also not have a TV subscription and just a Netflix subscription. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy this sort of content with minimalism, self-development and intentional living, Please drop a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.